Shalom everyone. I want us to pray Psalm 20 together. Now, and after we pray, then we are going to anoint ourselves. Psalm 20 verse 1, the Bible says, The Lord answer you when you are in distress. The name of the God of Jacob protect you. Now we are going to thank the God that answers prayer. The Bible says in the book of Psalm 65 verse 2, it says, You that answer prayer, to you all the people will come. We are saying right now, Father, we thank you because you answer prayer. Number two, you are going to say, Lord, you that answer prayer, protect me from all dangers. Protect my loved one. Protect my children. Protect my husband, my wife, my father, my mother, my brother. Protect everyone that is connected to me. Protect us from all dangers. Thank you for answering prayer. Number two, he said, may he send you help from sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. And you are saying, Lord, I receive help from you today. I receive the help that I need. May God send you help. May God send me help. May God send us help. Now receive the help from the Lord in Jesus' name. Say, I receive the help from the Lord. Number three, may you remember all your sacrifices and accept all your bond offering. Understand that God is not unjust. The Bible says, whatsoever you sow, you will reap. And as you have given, you have given your tithe, you have given your offering, you have sown seed, you have given to the poor, may God reward you a thousand times or more. I'm praying this scripture over you right now. Deuteronomy 1 verse 11. It says, may the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Israel, increase you and have blessed you a thousand times or more. That is your portion. In Jesus' name. He said, May He give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. It is my prayer for you that God will give you all the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number five, may we shout for joy over your victory and lift up our banners in the name of our God. Now, to shout for joy over your victory, it simply means you are testifying what God has done for you. And then we'll dance and rejoice together. Now, this coming Sunday is worship and praise Sunday. We are going to dance, we are going to sing. Uh, Brother Solomon and Brother Leo will be leading us for about 50 minutes of dancing, praising God. We dance in Africa way. We will dance in Taiwanese way. We will dance in European way. And I want you to come and join us. Let's dance together. We are going to tell the Lord, thank you for what you have done and for what you are about to do. Now, dancing and singing and testifying give you victory. Actually, when you testify, you are saying to Jesus, do more. That is why I love Richard in the Bible. When Richard gave birth to the first son, Joseph, the Bible says he named him Joseph. Joseph simply means addition. He was saying to the Lord, I need another one. Do more for me. So when you testify, you are saying to the Lord, I need more. Do more. Do more. It is good to testify. And those of you that have a testimony, come and share your testimony with us this Sunday as we dance before him. He said, may God grant all your requests. May all your requests be granted in the name of Jesus. He said, now this I know. The Lord gives victory to his anointed. Now bring out your oil wherever you are. Anoint yourself. Anoint yourself and say, Lord, I receive victory on every side. I enjoy victory in Jesus' name. I would like to use this opportunity to invite every one of you to come and join us this very Sunday. We'll be having a praise and worship Sunday. It's going to be a great time in the presence of the Lord. I will encourage you to read this Psalm 20 every day. Remember, it is our prophetic scripture for the year. As you read it, then you will anoint yourself. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you and God give you a supernatural victory on every side. 
Amen.